let's kick off the uh, podcast with uh, something pretty interesting, an actual retro gaming topic. Um, uh, there's a homebrew that is currently being kickstarted. It's finished. They're just they're kickstarting it. Uh, it's called Super Russian Roulette. Or roulette. And, uh, I don't care. Um, and there's a number of reasons why this is interesting. Um, so the game is basically, it uses the zapper. Uh, not a lot of homebrews use the zapper, to my knowledge. I'm, I'm not even sure. I don't know if I've any. heard of one that has yeah. done that. Exactly. Um, and what the game invites you to do is sit around a table with friends, with an NES in the center, and a CRT TV uh, sitting at a spot. Uh, because uh, the CRT TV gets filled up with a cowboy, a trash talking cowboy, <laughs> and there is a a bullet in the barrel of the gun, and you pass the gun around, and you each take turns pointing it at your head and pulling the trigger, um, and then you know uh, obviously someone dies, and then it it it's, it, l- it lessens the pool, and I guess the objective of the game is to just you know get down to that last game of chance one on yeah, one with one whoever, is- and uh, you know see who who wins. Um, they, they show it as being done as a drinking game. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I can imagine this being fun in a lot of appropriate situations. So the interesting thing is that the cowboy uh, on the screen is insanely well animated. Uh, and it's for, a big, it's a big it's, sprite. It's a huge sprite. We're talking like... Most of the screen. Way bigger than a punch-out sprite. Like two or three punch-out sprites. Takes up most of the screen, does things like kicks his feet up on the table, um, and has over four minutes of speech which is absolutely freaking insane yeah i mean thinking about the nes games that would have a lot you have was like big birds hide and speak has a decent which amount is a pretty impressive one yeah um super jeopardy has some top talking jeopardy but most nes games you have well below 30 seconds like well below right of audio with those couple of exceptions so uh that's impressive in and of itself obviously the game isn't that deep in terms of gameplay and having different stages and things like that, but there's a lot of, like you said, there's big there's big animations, big characters. Uh, supposedly there's some rudimentary AI involved. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but like the cowboy can taunt you or 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 I guess cajole you into if you're not if you're not if you're taking assign to you uh, silly nicknames. Yeah, so there, I mean, there's not much you can do with <laughs> Russian Roulette. It's a game of all right. It's a game of chance. You have one in six chance of losing. So it's a, at least a way of I guess spicing it up a bit, making it fun. Yeah, I think what's interesting is 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 this is something that would be fun in a party situation, especially after a couple of drinks. But it's also a really great showcase for what people can do with the NES today. And if anyone's thinking, well, the zapper's not really being used, it's just an input device, you know, the, the button on the trigger, there's actually a moment where it shows uh, the one guy um, shooting the teddy bear sitting next to the uh, sitting next to the cowboy. So <laughs> And he gets upset, right? Yeah, <laughs> he gets upset. So, um, yeah, I don't want this to come across sounding like an advertisement necessarily, but it's really uh, cool what's going on here, and I, I just felt, we just felt like it, it should be mentioned sure. um, to see how the, uh, the, the limits can be stretch it's a one megabyte cartridge for an nes game it's okay, huge yeah i mean that's and obviously that's most of the voice samples making that big. sure um so yeah if you look at the the rom boards actually if that's for the prototype rom board it actually has the symbol on it which is cool like the symbol coming has like the wings on it so it's pretty pretty interesting um they have a hell bit for leather special edition which is funny because it, it's just a f- expression from the old wish i haven't heard that in forever yeah. and you actually it would actually come with uh, the cartridge and like a leather a holster for the game. That's like that's just really cool. That's just a cool idea. I mean, I just like the idea because a lot of these homebrews to me seem I hate to say well cash-ins, but um, they're not really doing something that different. A lot of them, some are. There's some that uh, I've seen that wow, that's something different. But some are just like okay, it's an action platformer that. It's like, all right, there's a ton of those on the system. Or maybe they ape other games. That's kind of what I've seen the most of. They ape other games with a small twist, and that's fine. It, it's cool to see new stuff, but it's inter- no matter how simple this might be, it's interesting to see someone put so much effort into something so simple, and it's truly unique in the world of homebrew. Yeah, and there's only, like, what, 14 Zapper games on the NES, so it's nice to have... S- Get another one in there. Why not? Yeah. Sure. Even though you're not doing a whole lot of TV shooting. Fuck it. I'd rather play this than Bandai Shooting Range. Yes. So uh, check out the Kickstarter. They actually selected it as a project we love. Uh, I wish I did that for my book, but that's okay. <laughs> so uh, so uh, the, one of the other cool things real quick is that if you go do a certain tier, you can actually get your own voice in the game. 
and they'd actually like give you instructions for how to insert it or I think you can actually could send it to them so you can actually have like your own character of yourself so that's a cool idea like a truly customized uh, sort of game so yeah they, they'll even give you like your own intro screen too so shoot that teddy bear check it out super Russian roulette 